Are you already tired of social distancing? Have you had enough of trying to explain video chats to your grandma? Or pretending that you're going to use this free time to get super jacked? Sorry to break it to you, but with increasing populations and climate change, pandemics are likely to become more frequent, which means that this kind of social distancing might become the new norm. How could prolonged social distancing be bad for your health? What controversial methods could be implemented to keep people apart? And what sort of punishment could you face if you didn't comply? This is what if, and here's what would happen if social distancing became law. Staying away from other people might not sound too bad to some of you, but over time it can have some pretty negative effects on your health. Not only can it increase your risk of depression, but it can also lead to heart disease, dementia, and death. The good news is that a lot of these negative effects can be reduced through social contact with others. No, this doesn't mean secretly meeting up with people. It means embracing all the forms of digital communication we have at our fingertips. If connecting digitally becomes our new normal, how would this affect the way we form and maintain relationships? The internet allows us to stay in touch with and see the faces of loved ones that we can't meet up with in person. If social distancing became law, these sorts of online interactions would be important to our physical and mental health. For example, during stressful times like these, our heartbeat slows down when we have a friend with us. But even with all the communication apps out there, technology can't replace face-to-face -face interactions. It's not as easy to understand nonverbal behavior such as body language, facial expressions, and gestures during electronic meetings. Plus, maintaining existing relationships online might be easy, but what about establishing brand new ones? Like romantic ones? Dating while social distancing might sound impossible, but it just means you'd have to put the physical stuff on hold until you think they're worth getting quarantined for, that is. This might slow down the pace of dating, which has been accelerated through the use of dating apps. No more talking for a day, meeting up, and moving on. Now you'll be forced to take your time with potential partners and have the patience to get to know each other on a deeper level. Maybe this would result in a more meaningful relationship if you're ever allowed to leave the house again. But enough about you. Let's head outside and see what effects mandatory social distancing would have on the rest of the world. For one thing, some countries would impose fines and even prison time for people breaking social distancing. During the 2020 pandemic, people in Nova Scotia, Canada could be fined up to $1,000 per day for being in gatherings of more than five people. Because of rules like this, companies would have to get creative with their operations, especially businesses like restaurants and gyms. Restaurants could transform into primarily drive through and delivery businesses, but gyms would probably have a bigger struggle trying to survive. Sure, they could offer online workouts, but that wouldn't replicate the equipment and resources that their physical locations once offered. Instead, people might start to get their physical activity through more solitary activities like hiking and surfing. But there would have to be strict regulations on how many people could be at a specific spot at the same time. On the bright side, with all these new regulations to enforce, a lot of new jobs will be created. It would start with guards being employed to make sure people keep their distance. But in the long term, these new jobs could come from developing new technology to track everyone. And that's where this whole thing takes a real dystopian turn. Governments could use facial recognition technology to make sure that you and everyone else sticks to the rules. Cell phones could even be used to set off a blaring alarm every time you got within one meter of another person. 
Eventually, you could see our society divided into different shifts to keep large amounts of people from gathering at once. Just like shift work, a shift society would mean that only people from certain parts of the city would be allowed to enter specific places during set hours or on specific days. Some people might work at the office on Monday and Wednesday, and others on Tuesday and Thursday. With all this isolation, people would start to develop agoraphobia. This is essentially a fear of other people and of leaving your home. Maybe this could lead to the construction of virtual reality worlds where everything is simulated. These worlds could be so realistic that you'd lose sight of what's real and what's pretend. But that's a story for another What If.